Let's see how to use visual editor in Lovable that will help you to work much faster without wasting your credits. Let's get started. In this video, I want to talk with you about Lovable. Lovable is an AI tool that helps us to create AI prototyping and also applications without need of developers. Basically, we can import from Figma or write a prompt to create the interface. In this specific video, I want to talk about one feature Lovable has that will help you to work much more faster without the need to use every time the AI. First, it's much more faster because you don't need to write any time a prompt and wait the AI model to complete the task. Second, in that way, you can save many credits so you can make changes without using the Lovable credits. And by the way, the feature called Visual Edit. Here I have a dashboard that I created with Lovable. You can see there is a header and, and also all the cards that uh, many dashboard has. I open the sidebar. And here as also you can write a prompt to make changes, but if you want to make visual changes, it is not necessary. You just need to click here on the edit. When it's clicked, you can select any element in the interface. Let's select the total revenue. I select it here. And then Lovable open on the sidebar many inputs that will help me to make changes on the typography. Let's take a look on that. I can play with the margin. And you can see that it's affect all the curves, so it's more easy to make changes in bulk. Let's set it to zero. Also the top and bottom margin. And also the padding if I want, this one, and that one. I can play with the font size. I click on that and then I can select different font sizes. As you can see, the changes are live. So you don't need to click to see the result. You just move here on the select and see the different sizes for this typography. Let's select 3XL. I can play with the font weight from here. You can see. Let's add it in medium. I can change the colors, any colors that I have here. I can select default one like that one or that one or that's one. If I want to select a color that not exists by default, I can click on custom and select any color with the color picker. Let's move to styles, this one. I can play with the alignment, center, right, but as always left is better. And if you use to make changes with the code, you can click here and you can make the same changes, but with the code style. So I can write this one or that one and make any change that I want. Once click on save, all the changes will save. Now, in a case you want to back to the last change, you click on history. I will click on the last change I did with Lovable and then restore this version. And now I will back to this version. I will close the history. In a case you want to make a change, not on the typography, but on another element, it's also possible. I will click on edit, select the element. In that case, let's take this card and I can play with the margin, with the padding, also with the background if I want. Let's select this one and also the border radius. Let's select that one. So you can see the radius change. In that case, I will not save. Let's click on this card. Let's close this one. And in a case you want to change images, it's also possible and it's very easy. I go here to the profile page. Let's open it. I click on edit, select the image, and I have two options here. I can upload an image from my computer. Let's click, select an image, open, and the image change. Also, you can paste the URL. I go to Unsplash, open this image, copy the URL of this image, and then in Lovable, I paste it here, click on Add, and the image change. One more thing before we finish that I want to tell you, that if I select an element, but I want to go one layer above, I can click here, and it will select the layer above this specific layer. So I click on Image, you can see how it changed again, and it select layers above the selected layer. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Take care.